Sawasti, Ka. Welcome back to my YouTube channel. This clip, we're exploring the mouth-watering world of Thai street food during lunch time. Get ready for a flavorful journey, Thai street food, a vibrant and integral part of the local culture. At lunchtime, these bustling markets come alive with a plethora of delicious options. First up, we have the iconic Pud Kra Pao Mu. It is a stir-fried dish made with ground or minced pork and Thai basil, typically served over rice with fried egg. It's a flavorful and spicy Thai dish that's a popular choice for lunch or dinner. If you don't like you can be customized with various ingredients like chicken, beef, fish or shrimp depend on your order. Most of tourist or foraiger know only served over rice, but Pud Kra Pao Mu will be more delicious if you order to be stir with the rice. This dish is known for its aromatic and spicy flavors, with the Thai basil providing a unique and vibrant taste. It's a classic Thai comfort food that's easy to prepare and perfect for a quick and delicious meal. Next is Khao Man Gai. It is a classic Thai dish known for its simple yet flavorful preparation. It consists of tender, poached chicken served with fragrant rice cooked in chicken broth. It is typically accompanied by a flavorful ginger and garlic dipping sauce, and sometimes a clear chicken broth on the side. Chicken broth is not only the choice some restaurants serve you with fried chicken with different dipping sauce or you can mix both. The rice served with cow mangai is not just ordinary rice. It's cooked in the same chicken broth used to cook the chicken, which imparts a rich, savory flavor to the rice. The rice absorbs the essence of the chicken and the aromatic ginger and garlic, making it incredibly fragrant and delicious. The dipping sauce is a key component that elevates the dish's taste. It's made with a mixture of ginger, garlic, and Thai bird's eye chilies. The combination of these ingredients creates a sauce that's both spicy and packed with umami. The soy sauce, vinegar, and sugar in the sauce balance the flavors and add a sweet and tangy component. If you go to normal Khao Mangai restaurant, not the popular one you may not impress, I will share some famous name for you to search and go. I will write Thai language in description it will easy for you to search. One is Khao Mangai Mong Kanwadana. Second is Khao Mangai Boon Tong Ki. It's has many branch, you can choose the most close to you. Thrid is Koang Khao Mangai. This one is Mycelin and Lochted Epertunum. Fourth is Khao Mangai J. Yuan. This is just some example, they still much more. Khao Mangai is tasty due to the combination of perfectly poached chicken fragrant and flavorful rice, and a dipping sauce that provides a spicy kick with balanced flavors. The simplicity and comfort it offers add to its appeal, making it a beloved dish in Thai cuisine. Thridda's Khao Ka Mu is a popular Thai dish known for its rich and intensely flavorful braised pork leg served with rice. Khao Ka Mu features a whole pork leg or shank that has been slow cooked or braised until it's incredibly tender. The long cooking time allows the pork to absorb the flavors of the aromatic broth and spices, resulting in juicy, succulent, and melt in your mouth meat. The texture is a perfect balance of tender and slightly gelatinous, making each bite a delight. The pork leg is braised in a savory broth that's infused with a combination of fragrant spices and seasonings. Common ingredients in the broth include cinnamon, star anise, garlic, and soy sauce. This aromatic broth is packed with umami, creating a robust and deeply satisfying flavor that envelopes the pork. I will share some famous name for you to search and go. I will write Thai language in description it will easy for you to search. One is Khao Ka Mu Ja Learn Sing Sri Lam This one is Mycelin. Second is Khao Ka Mu Ko Jua Huad. Thrid is Khao Ka Mu Trok Sug. Fourth is Khao Ka Mu Tong Hua. But in my opinion, Khao Ka Mu is delicious in every restaurant even not a popular name. 
To enhance the taste, cow ka mu is often served with condiments such as chili vinegar with garlic and chilies. These condiments add a spicy and tangy kick, allowing you to adjust the flavor to your liking. In summary, cow ka mu is tasty due to its perfectly braised pork leg that's tender and packed with flavor. Its savory and aromatic broth, the combination of accompaniments and condiments, and the comfort and nostalgia it brings. If you enjoy hearty, flavorful, and comforting dishes, Khao Ka Mu is definitely worth trying. Next is Kwai Tu or noodle with or without soup. Thailand is a noodle lover's paradise, with a wide variety of flavorful and satisfying noodle dishes to choose from. There are many different types of noodles, but Thai people mostly like rice noodles and egg noodles. Here are some of the most popular and well-loved noodle dishes in Thailand. Start from fish ball noodle. Fish ball noodle is a dish of Chinese origin. This dish is available in clear soup or dry versions. In Thailand, this dish noodle, served together with fish ball, shrimp ball, sliced fish cakes, more or less depend on each restaurant and in dry version some restaurant may add ground nuts and sugar if you don't like, you can order without it. Thai people mostly order dry version with egg noodle, yellow color, if you never taste please try. Second is beef noodle. Beef noodle soup is a popular dish in Thailand. It typically consists of a rich and flavorful broth, hand-pulled noodles, tender beef, and a variety of toppings like beef ball, beef slice, entrails. The heart of beef noodle soup lies in the broth, which is typically simmered for hours with beef bones, aromatics, and spices. The resulting broth varies depending on the region, but it is generally clear, slightly sweet, and deeply savory. You can order with variety kind of noodle or you can order without noodle, but eat with rice, it call kaleo. Third is gay terua or boat noodle. It is a Thai style noodle dish with a strong flavor. It boat noodles because originally they served from boats that traversed Bangkok's canals in the past. It contains both pork and beef, as well as dark soy sauce, pickled bean curd, and some other spices and is normally served with meatballs and pig's liver. The soup is seasoned with pig or cow blood mixed with salt and spices. Thai people will eat gay to rua with fries pork skin, very cripey. The color of the soup is similar to beef noodle soup, but considerably thicker due to the blood added. It is commonly served in a small bowl. There are so many details of noodle in Thailand, so I will separate it to the next coming up clip. Kabkan ka, thank you, and happy eating!